Without my teammates, like, I wouldn't have the ambition to go and take a risk like this. Like, going to run at nationals without any training, like, my teammates have been so supportive and watching them work so hard, like, to go to PSACs and perform so well at PSACs, like, I'm encouraged and motivated by them to go do my best at nationals. Well, their goals are definitely very different. They are in very different situations. Sarah is coming off being ill. You know, she competed uh, in early December to qualify for the national meet and hasn't competed since. Uh, she has cleared. She's been doing very, very minimal training, but she's earned the spot at the national meet. And, you know, we hope she is successful and stuff, but to an extent, uh, she's just going there, you know, to run and Whatever happens, happens. Uh, Tabitha's in a little different boat, obviously. You know, she is healthy. She's feeling good. We had an incredible conference meet, and we're hoping to build on that. She was a All-American in the long jump and triple jump indoors her sophomore year, two years ago. She's a senior now. And we're hoping for, to bring home three All-American plaques. A couple, I'm going in with a couple of goals. One, this will be the second time that I'm hurdling, so I would like to PR in the hurdles. I think it's my number one goal for hurdles. But then... For the jumps, um, I've obviously I've been an All-American in them before, and I think that my ultimate goal is to be an All-American again. So I would absolutely love to be on the podium. But most importantly, I would like to have a personal best, um, go out there and take my last time on the track at an indoor meet and be able to better my own personal records. And uh, ultimately, I believe if I can do that, then I'll be on the podium. But I think... The last goal that I have is just to enjoy it. So. For the meet, um, I really just want to finish the race <laughs> um, with the um, mono situation. But I mean, I ideally would like to go out there and just give it everything I got, and I'll be I'll be happy with that. She has had an outstanding career, an outstanding you know coming in as a sophomore. I think she surprised a lot of people. She did a lot of things she didn't do as a freshman and she has continued to build off that. I think we're going to see PR's personal records here at the indoor conference meet and I think she will continue to do that at the outdoor season. Obviously not right off the bat and we don't want her to. We don't want her, you know, an athlete at that level. We don't want having personal bests um, the first couple meets of the year because that completely messes up our build up and peak and stuff. You know what, it's kind of surreal. I to go out there as a sophomore, I had no expectation of that. And, you know, that kind of set a bar for me as a sophomore. And then I came in as a junior, and um, I put a lot of pressure on myself. And I think that this year, last year, was um, just a little bit about making it through the season. And coming in this year, I knew that I just wanted to enjoy my time. And I went out there and... Um, the marks that I knew that if I competed to the standard that I had set all year that I would go out and I would win my main three events and I knew that our 4x4 four four was going to put up a good fight and uh, the 60 was just kind of there to see what I could do, hopefully get a couple points and uh, I think at that point it was just like, alright, I'm here and I'm going to do what I know how to do and hopefully that will get me to what I want to achieve.